What's going on, YouTube? You're back with Shades, and we're gonna continue our let's play of fi of well, I was about to say Final Fantasy VII. Uh, uh, a Legend Heroes Chosen Sky. Last time we left off, we just tr talked to Nial, and now we're gonna go uh, about like all the information he got, and literally he got us mostly and everything on the Colonel and uh, Captain Amalthea, but literally nothing on Lieutenant Lorenz. So now we're just gonna go report to the guild and like see what we can do from there. Okay, wait, this is the, this is the uh, way towards the um. Um, what you call the uh, the the dock, the harbor. <clears throat> but yeah, the but yeah, we got literally no information on, <clears throat> on Lorenz, which is supposed to be like what it is, because like he's like integral to like whatever's going on. But anyway, let's just report to uh, what's his name, Elden. Estelle, Joshua, I offer my congratulations in advancing to the championship bout. It's a shame to hear of Kurt's loss, but I hear it was a very good match. Yeah, it was pretty intense. I wouldn't go patting us on the back just yet, though. We weren't better than Kurt, not by a Selge. True, we just got lucky. We had Z we had Zane, along with Oliver's guns and magic, to cover for our mistakes. They're the only reason we've made it, the, it as far as we have. You two are very humble, a rare quality these days. By the way, have you learned any, any more information? Well, explain the details of Niall's findings to Elnin. So, 2nd Lieutenant Lorenz is part of the Jaeger Corps. Or more specifically, the Jester Division. <laughs> First, I've, def I've heard of that name. Definitely. I'd best look it up. Do the Guild and the Jaeger Corps have a working relationship? Not at all. If anything, we consider one another to be business rivals. We make it our business not to in interfere with matters of the state, you see. Whereas Jaeger largely re revel in such matters. We're often employed in border disputes and have some quite opposing viewpoints with us regarding the safety of the common man. So you mean they're evil? They don't sound very nice. So I take it there's no chance of getting into any information on this. I wouldn't say no chance. With a bit of cloak and dagger, I might be able to find the information you seek. It would take several days to gather the unnecessary intel. However, you wouldn't have it before the championship. Is that all right? Championship schmampionship. This has nothing to do with the competition, so yeah, if you'd please. Thank you, Elnan. Also regarding the Colonel's hunt for Princess Claudia's future husband. We've only covered a few morsels of information we may have some, which may have some connection. Uh, okay. The Erebonian Crown Prince will arrive in Grand Cell during the Queen's birthday celebration. We don't know his name, but we do know it's come ten years since any Erebonian royals have come to the Liberal, so this is fairly significant. I see, you're right. It does seem connection that does seem connected with the talk of Princess Claudia's marriage. I don't actually know a thing about the Erebonian Crown Prince. The only Imperial I ever met even met is Oliver. The princess is being is just has the princess has just celebrated her 16th birthday. It seems much too early for her to be married. I suspect there may be politics at work here. Whoa, 16? Jeez, we're only 16 ourselves. It's, it is the appropriate age for a young lady to make her debut in high society. But unless we re reverted to a much more repressed time, it is much, much too soon for marriage. Indeed, as I said, I suspect there's a political motive to this push for wedlock. And finding that motive will no doubt prove to be a most valuable endeavor. Gotcha! If we can earn that invite to the castle, it, we'd, be, we'd be able to investigate much more easily. Then we need to secure a win in tomorrow's, in tomorrow's championship. Hmm, as dangerous as this may be. I've got something for you. Here. Ooh, sewer key B! What the heck is this to? The sewers. We always keep a few handed at the capital branch. Never know when they might come in handy. This one should open one of the access gates in the, near the Grand Arena. There's some pretty strong monsters, monsters living down there, so I figure it might be make a suitable training ground. Bring it! We could totally use the warm-up. Thank you, Elnin. I'm just doing my job. Make sure you don't head down there without some backup, though. If it's just the two of you, you're toast. No problem there. We'll head down there with Zane and... and we'll head down there with Zane and... Oliver, after we meet up with him tomorrow. I need to work on my voice acting, because right now I'm just reading out loud rather than rather than acting. Wow, it's late. We should probably get back to the hotel. Hey, you two. Hmm? Oh, what's going on? We're on patrol. 
Night the patrols have, have been increased as part of the counterterrorism measures. It's best to avoid going out after 9 o'clock if at all possible. You two should go on home. Don't you think it's a little obnoxious? What if you, you need to go out after 9 o'clock? It's the higher-ups who make the decisions, miss. Sorry to cause any trouble, but everyone has to abide by the rules. By the way, where is it that you two live? We're staying at the hotel in the North Brock. We'll be there for the duration of the martial arts competition. Hmm. Hold on a second. I could have swear I could swear I've seen you two somewhere before. Hey! These kids are in the tournament! You know now that you mention it. Oh, were you guys in the audience? <laughs> we were on security detail, actually. The match today was pretty incredible. Tomorrow's the championship now. We'll escort you to the hotel so you can rest up for your big fight. Um very well, we accept. Um, thanks for escorting us. We appreciate it. You gotta be kidding, we're big fans of yours. We're all in the same army, but I don't know. Those special ops types just rub me the wrong way for some reason. <laughs> no kidding, I just don't get what goes to their heads. Don't you think it's a little disrespectful of Colonel Richard, though? Well, that's why you're putting so much faith in your participation. Good luck with tomorrow's match. <laughs> Thank you. We'll do everything we can. Phew, this is all kinds of complicated, huh? I don't know what those guys know. I don't think those guys know a thing about the Colonel's plot. They seem to think the intelligence division are just regular soldiers. Whatever info comes down to the chain of the, the chain of command, they accept it as truth. Hmm. Well, I hate to make enemies of them, but since they're all rooting for us, regardless of anything else, it'd be the wisest not to stir up trouble with the rank and file soldiers. What do you say we rest up in our room tonight and just? Well, I, I said it. If there's one thing that's always been really good about this game, it's that it builds its world really, really well. It all it always like this the the, the, the non characters, the side characters. You you care about the side characters, you like the information the non characters bring in, like those soldiers. They always they're always like, Yeah, like I really cheat for you guys. I really don't like the intelligence core, but we're all the same army, but like, you know, like I I'm just really rooting for you guys. Like I really like the world building. It makes me actually think this world's alive. Huh? Did you just hear something? Be on alert when we be on alert when we go inside. Be ready for a fight if things don't look right. Huh? I think you've got a trespasser. There might be explosive sets, so be careful. Wait, you're kidding, right? I need you to do exactly as I tell you. No questions. If you'd rather stay out here, that's fine with me. No way! I'm fine. Let's just go inside. All right. Oh, looks like you got away. But that's strange. I don't sense that anyone's been in here. Or does it feel like there's any, are any traps set? You can seriously tell that kind of thing? I guess this is all that was left behind. What? A letter? Joshua broke the seal on the letter. It explodes! Tonight at the stroke of ten, come to the cathedral. Please tell no one of this. And that's it? And what cathedral? That huge church over in West Block? It's already almost ten o'clock now. Well, it sure sounds suspicious, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. What do you think? Should we go for it? Absolutely not. What was that for? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Look, didn't those soldiers said they were going to reinforce tonight's patrols? You could bet they were gonna... I, I didn't read it, I, I hit the button by accident. Oh, right. Still, hate you just pretend we never got it. I'll go by myself then. Huh? It's easier for one person to stay hidden than two. I shouldn't have any real trouble getting to the cathedral unnoticed. Listen, if all I'm doing is scoping out the situation, I can handle it on my own. I just need you to stay here. Hey! Huh? I'm no less abrasive than you are. I can handle myself and I won't slow you down. That's probably some cooler sounding way to say all that, but I don't know what that is. Estelle, it's not what I meant. I know it's not- it's not- I know it's not that you don't trust me. I can tell you're worried about me, or more that you're worried for me. What are you not telling me? How can you tell that I'm keeping something from you? I'm closer to you than just about anyone, Joshua. There's nothing you can keep from me, not for very long anyway. I'm impressed. Huh? Alright, if you want to come with me, I won't try to stop you. It's almost 10 now though, so we have to hurry. Oh, okay. But I want you to promise me something. If anything goes wrong, you do exactly as I tell you. One wrong move could be fatal. Okay, I promise. Let's get a move on then. More of Joshua's past is coming to the to, to the forefront. Which I'm really excited for, because uh, I don't remember the exact specifics, but I remember some of the major details. 
Oh! It looks like they're patrolling. If any of the soldiers spot us, we'll probably get led back to the hotel. We need to study the movements and take whatever chances we can get to get past them undetected. Okay! Where is the- where is the west block? Ooh, okay. This shouldn't be too hard. Oh, fuck. Well, we're not going that way. There's a guard right there. Oh, what the- Ah, oh, crap. That was just him telling us, like, like the usual, like, just, just make sure that we don't... Oh, fuck! What? Oh, come on! I forgot about that one. Whoopsie! Oh, what?! I am not good at being sneaky. Holy hell in a pan basket. How are we going to get the west block? Ha ha! I did it. Oh, what? Son of a bitch. This is going to take me a while. Shit. I suck at sne I suck at stuff. I should let that be known. Ah, oh, son of a shit biscuit. Okay, how are we supposed to get to the freaking west? <sighs> yeah, I know. Okay, I know, Joshua. I'm just not good at stealth. Oh, my fucking god. It's this one that's really bothering me. Haha, -ha, I did it! Cause I'm dumb. Okay, where's the cathedral? Also, apparently the more you get caught, the easier it gets. But it's just annoying, because I have to do this again. Where's Soldier Boy? Shit. Go. Okay, so you have to go around then. Joy. Fucking! <sighs> I hate life. I hate everything. 
Well, at least I'm getting used to it now. It's like every every time I do it, it gets easier. Go. I'm guessing this one goes in a circle. Try to get a good camera lock on him, though. Yeah, here we are! Ugh. All right, we made it. Stay focused, Estelle. I'll go in first. Stay close. Okay. I'm sorry, Estelle. I guess I misunderstood. Huh? Haha, <laughs> you came after all. You. Hey, aren't you the nun from before? The one who attacked us, who was attacked on the scenic route? Thank you for what you did back there. I assume you got my message? The letter was yours? But why would you do something so secretive like that just to say thanks? Ah, uh, now I get it. It was her all along. Huh? Haha, <laughs> you're very observant, Joshua. Pardon me then, let me get out of these stuffy clothes. What? Lieutenant Julia Schwartz, commander of the Royal Guardsmen at your service. Hiding in plain sight, are you, sister? It's been a long time, you two. I knew you'd come. It's nice to see you again, Lieutenant. Last time we well, last time was last time was back in Ruan, right? Yes it was. It hasn't been that long, but it feels like ages. Hey, hold on a second! Why are you in that getup? And why'd you call us here? I'll answer that, your question one at a time. First, the clothes. The Septian Church has long, deep ties with the royal family. Colonel Richard's little conspiracy had us on the run, and they've helped us hit, stay hidden within the city. Oh, okay. And the, the answer to the other question, why I called you here, if you win the final match tomorrow, you get invited to that dinner party at the castle, right? What I need you to do is get in touch with Her Majesty once you get inside. I realize this is a selfless, that it's a selfish request, but since we are basically fugitives, there's no way for us to make contact. You're the only hope we have. Well then, this is kind of unexpected. Actually, we're participating in the competition specifically in hopes of seeing the Queen anyway. What? Joshua explained the request that Professor Russell gave them during the Laysan Fortress incident. Really now? Almighty Ideos, thank you for your gift, most sacred. In that case, I only have one favor to ask of you. When you speak to Her Majesty, heed her counsel. Of course, that was the plan from the get-go. That non-involvement rule still applies, even in a situation like this. But we'll do everything we can. I'm grateful. Please take this with you. Receive Julia's letter. What's this? Give this to her headmaid, Hilda, and she'll know what you've spoken to me. Her Majesty is probably under very heavy guard by the special ops men. But you can trust Hilda. With her help, you may be able to speak with Her Majesty. Huh, sounds like a heck of a lady. Got it, we'll talk to her. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pathetic, isn't it? Eh? I was deceived and thereby failed the one I was supposed to protect at all costs. And this happened not long after I swore that I would give my life to safeguard Her Majesty from harm. You can't imagine how helpless I feel having to depend entirely on another's help. You really shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I hate to say this, but there is a chance that we'll lose tomorrow's match. <laughs> I'm certain that you'll do just fine. The Calvaridian martial arts is extremely skilled. And you're both children of the Colonel Cassius Brett. You mean you knew our dad, too? It's not without reason that he was the, known as the finest swordsman in all the Royal Army before he retired from service. I had a chance to be trained by him when he was the martial arts instructor at the military academy. Jesus Christ. Why can't I read? Out loud, anyway. Ugh. Ugh. But yeah, that's what I thought, that Julia Schwartz was, um, trained by Cassius. If not for him, I would not be nearly as skilled as I am. I can't believe that. Dad's never used anything except a bow staff. I guess he must have given up the sword when he decided to become a bracer. His goal wasn't to kill his enemies. He wanted to improve himself and help those weaker than he. That's why he chose the bow staff as his weapon, or so I imagine. Really? I didn't know that the- that- Oh, uh, I didn't know that my use of a staff had that kind of significance. I'm sure he'd hope that you'd inherit some of the same kind of mindset. I think he'd be proud of you. Joshua, Colonel Cash has trained both of you. I have all the faith in the world that you'll win tomorrow's match. <laughs> Hearing you say that almost makes you think you're right. 
We'll put everything we have into it. Pardon us, this is the Grand Cell City Guard. Due to the terrorist threat, we'll be now patrolling the main facilities. I apologize for the latest of the hour. Do you mind if we have a look inside? Crap. Quite alright, thank you. Just a moment, please, and I'll open the door. There's another door at the back of the altar room. You can go outside from there. Okay. Please be careful. Why is the main theme playing? Phew! Well, we managed to avoid the patrol so far. It doesn't look doesn't look like there are any soldiers this way. Yeah, I'm not sensing anyone. Guess the night patrols are finally done. Let's rest for the moment here and head back to the hotel. Okay. Why is the main theme playing? Ah, uh, so much is going on. It's starting to give me a headache. <laughs> I'll bet. I never would have imagined it to be Lieutenant Schwartz, Schwartz waiting for us at the cathedral. Wait, so... She wasn't who you were expecting to find there? Could it be you were thinking that it'd be someone you'd known before? Well... Oh. Sorry, forget I said anything. Gotta remember the rules. But still, I won't ask you anything about before we met until you're ready to tell me. I try to be careful, but sometimes I let things slip. Estelle, I think you've gotten a little, little stronger during our travels. Huh? It's overwhelming to think about all the people around us, each and every one of them living in her, his or her own life all under the same sky. And every person you meet has a personality and a history and a story to tell. Every one of them is like us, living day by day. Sometimes I just have to remember... Sometimes I just have to remind myself that no one acts without cause. Nothing happens without a reason or a motive or an excuse. It's only when I remember that I start to... What, uh, it's only when I remember that that I start to feel like I might have be able to reclaim parts of me that I've lost. Joshua, I'm probably just fooling myself, tricking myself into accepting that I can't change. But even so, I'm grateful for having someone with me. The sky, dad, but most of all, you. Joshua. So, I promise. Once this whole matter is, set matter is settled and if dad comes back safely, I'll tell you everything there is to know about my past. Really? Really. But the stars is my witness. Okay, then we have ourselves a deal. Still, all my gloom's gone fluttering away. Cause you, cause once you've told me what you've gotta tell me, then I'll tell you what I've gotta tell you. Uh, what? Oh wait, is this about that thing you've had on your mind? Yep. <laughs> Gonna have to psych myself up for it. Psych yourself up? Is it really something so dramatic? Yes, unfortunately it is. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I mean, if it's that important, I, uh, important, important, I really don't mind hearing about it now. Absolutely not. It's a delicate matter. Timing is crucial. Though, I guess the situation does feel kind of right, but still no dice. Not yet. I don't get you sometimes, Estelle. I swear, you seem like you're ready to take on anything now. All because you've got a big talk planned. It makes no sense. Of course I'm ready. Ain't no way I'm letting those guys keep me from this talk. I'm gonna show the special ops types... Uh, how the, touch of, how the touch of a girl's power can ruin their whole day. Ruin their... <laughs> you really are your father's daughter. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You better not be comparing me to a middle-aged man. Yeah, I guess you're right. Somehow I think we're gonna do just fine tomorrow. After some grinding! Yesterday was genuinely awful. I returned to the embassy, overfull of spirit, when those tiresome guards saw fit to stop me, stop at casting flames, sticking disparagements at me. They've tightened security at night, supposedly for anti-terrorist purposes. Were you two okay? Yes, we went to bed rather early, so we didn't have any problems. And Elnin lent us, some, lent us something that might give us an edge. I'll still explain to that Elnin had loaned them the spare key to the Grand Cell sewers. Now that should come in handy. He's a young one, but he's got a real spark to him. He always seems to know what you need, and when you need it. So what do you say we check out the sewers this morning? The gate is to the north of the arena. Well, if it's that, for the, that banquet, we must muster up one more huzzah. And that, my friends, is where we're going to end this part for now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to head off to the, um... Um... The sewers, and it's going to be in the next part. But I really do want to go through those sewers first and grind up a little bit. Mostly because, um... I don't know what to expect when fighting the, the special ops team. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next part um, after my grind session. I won't grind. I won't grind with you guys this time. Um, uh, that sounds so weird. 
Um, but uh, this time I'm going to do it on my own, and then I'm going to, and then you're going to, we're going to meet just before the for the main fight. So I'll see you guys then. Bye. <laughs>